Hey guys, welcome to another video. My name is Chrome and today I'm bringing you guys another video. Now this is one of my unusual videos because I don't usually do tutorials or stuff on my computer. But I found this really useful and a lot of people I'm sure wonder how uh, some people get logos or AVIs on their video to just place on their videos because most of the time when you get a logo or an AVI it has a background color let's say it's white or anything for example this is gray this AVI is gray and what I'm gonna be doing is removing the background so it's just the V this sign and the writing so I would be able to use it in my videos and I'm gonna be showing you how you can do that with your AVI so you're able to use it in your videos so you're gonna want to open paint.net which is kind of a cheaper version of Photoshop It's actually free obviously it doesn't have the same stuff as Photoshop but it's great for s little stuff like this so you can download it for free and then you're gonna pull up an image that you want to make transparent then you're gonna go to tools click on magic wand and go ahead and click on the background now as you want to see as you see right off the bat it wants to take away some of my biohazard stuff and I don't want that I want to leave it because it looks cool and I want it so you are gonna go to the tolerance bar over here and lower it so that it's just like this now it's gonna take away most of it but you're still gonna have a background and that looks ugly so you're gonna take away some of it take away some of the tolerance so that you aren't left with that and then take away even more of the tolerance maybe add a little like that then you're left with this and you just have to go bit by bit and you can reduce the tolerance to however little you need to you can honestly reduce it to anything up to like five percent and it'll still be useful so definitely do that if you need to and here it usually doesn't take long but if it's a smaller image then nothing will really get deleted and it might kind of you might have to zoom in like this you might have to zoom in in the bottom right there's like a zoom in button I think it's cut off on the screen but it's there and for the letters for the letters what you're gonna do is just click on it one by one you can raise the tolerance to suit how much you need that I'm gonna take away that part too because that little corner looks ugly and you can zoom in as much as you want it zooms in quite a lot so it's really easy if you have really little dots that you need to get rid of and as you can see paint.net works really well it's really good for something that's free so if you have AVIs or something that you want to use in your videos and you don't know how to make them transparent you can definitely just download paint.net and use that because it definitely works as you can see it's making it perfectly nice it looks really nice and I, I mean I really like how it looks and I'll show you the finished product when I'm done so this is the finished product as you can see it looks really nice the background there's no background it's transparent because you can see the white and gray checkered background thingy and that's what and that indicates that it's transparent now and you're gonna go ahead and save it and I'll go into my editing software and show you that it's complete so now I'm in my editing software Camtasia Studio 8 and I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and as you can see when I put it in it's just the background nothing else there might be little dots because I didn't spend an unbelievable time on it just going dot by dot but with logos you usually use them in the corner so if I put them in the corner you know even now you can't even tell that there's those little dots so that's how you make any picture transparent logo or AVI if you enjoyed this tutorial and video just in general make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos coming soon 